session. Sometimes he does other things when he gets high on pot. Next session, we shall do poppers before we. <laughs> <laughs> That'll ramp up the gay sex. <laughs> All right, that's gonna what Hack Racken needs. He's going to explain to Josh what poppers are. That's what Hack Racken really yeah. needs. Who is? is? Is more gay sex. That's the one thing we're missing. <laughs> Once we get that, we'll get 10,000 views per video. Do you think it'll bring us closer together? Gay it'll sex? If we all do poppers. Or poppers. <laughs> <laughs> I think what would that do to our dynamic? <clears throat> Doo-doo. <laughs> Just be Elijah and I talking while Josh and Anthony make out poppers the Poppers are time. these... Um, it's like a, a a drug thing that you inhale, but a lot of, they're very common in the in the gay sex community, and a lot of gay or sex. anyone that wants to have anal sex. Yeah, uh, but why a lot anal of times, sex? A lot why of anal sex? Explain it. Because it's a muscle relaxer in yeah. the anus. It'll it'll. You're telling me I don't want my vaginal muscles to be relaxed no, too? No, it, it specifically makes your anus loose. And it also <laughs> it, it also it, it also gets you <laughs> like. Very, very high, but for a very short amount of time. So I've also heard that a lot of gay guys will literally take a popper right before they nut because it'll like make their experience much more intense. <laughs> or so I'm told. <laughs> or, or so I'm told. Yeah. And it, supposedly it feels really good. It just means that their huh. post nut clarity is just going to hit that much harder, like a ton of bricks. Yeah, and you look down and you realize that you just nutted in a guy's butt. You fill them up all the way to the balls. <laughs> All the way to the balls. <laughs> Your idea what of human anatomy what intrigues me. <laughs> In what direction does it go? His ass. All the way to the balls. The wrong way. I don't think you've ever seen a human. <laughs> it goes in his ass the wrong way. <laughs> To fill up his balls. <laughs> no, not at the other guy's balls. Down the wrong tube. <laughs> to the balls. <laughs> From the window what are to you the balls. Saying? I do not understand. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> can't believe I'm breaking down gay sex. <laughs> so the receiving anus. Yep. Um, and colon too. Mm-hmm. Are, re- are receiving <laughs> the rod. Yep. Yes. To the balls. Uh-huh. <laughs> what do you mean to the balls? I think he means like all the way down all to the, the balls. All the way down to the balls. Oh, I thought you mean you fill him up with jizz all the way to his balls. Well, how would that, like oh, like a balloon, you'd fill him up all that's the way? That's why we were so that's confused. Why we're so confused. Oh, okay. I don't think you'd reach it, even if you had like cartoony amounts of like, <laughs> um, ejaculate. <laughs> ejaculate. <laughs> um, yeah, it would sooner come out of the mouth than his balls. I don't know. Let's find out. Elijah, Anthony. Let's take pop. It's pop rock time. Wait, wait, go on the left. Keep walking to the left. Left, left, left. Go back to the Ramirez sin. You, no, no. That was a good guy slug. Oh my was it? god. Yeah. Are there good your, guys? Slugs? Your karma went down. Dude, he's gonna help you. My Reddit karma. Yeah. My credit karma. Your credit Reddit karma. Show me the car facts. You guys listen to that new Eminem song. What's it called again? Uh, uh, venom. You're gonna taste my venom. 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 Gonna venom. venom. <clears throat> that song is literally. I, it it feels like a I've given up kind of thing, because the venom? no, <laughs> venom was creative genius, <laughs> especially when he. <laughs> That's um, carnage. It's carnage. Okay, carnage. It's carnage. It's carnage. Well, even say it. carnage, sampled 9/11. So yeah. Can like, I like not go v- up there? No, you can't. Why not? Uh, it's not allowed because of the way it is. Um, <laughs> because of the way it is. Um, his new song is literally just like him referencing uh, all of his most popular songs. Mind. Dist- m- There's like a line where Eminem Phil says Vischer. like like something about R. Kelly and then black eyed peas on guys. He says what? Black eyed peas on guys. Black eyed. Black eyed. Black eyed peas. Yeah, the black guy <laughs> peased. That's not what I said. Okay. <sighs> I like the I'm part not. in the song where he says, like, I wonder what my old self would say if he were here today. Probably that everything is gay. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's no, like an ad lib in the back lying. there's an ad lib in the background where he's just like By that I mean happy <laughs> <laughs> Or no, he's like, like happy is what he says. That's not an ad lib. That's what an ad lib is. Oh, oh ad lib is when you say something off the cuff. No, ad libs in rap songs are like little um, voices in the background. Trust me, I did my research. No, yeah. it's when like you hear someone go like, 
Yeah. Is that really ad lib? Yes. Yeah. Travis Scott's like, straight up. Those are all ad libs. Ad lib? Because they norm. A lot of times they are ad libbed. Or well, like you was at the club. Yeah. Yeah. Don't Bottoms forget up. about it. <laughs> Bring them over. <clears throat> or like uh, Migos. <laughs> when they do that stuff. Or that. <laughs> I don't. I don't like that. That's or what an ad lib is in music because it's not what an ad lib is in. Quavo else. when he's like lifestyle on camera. White people think I'm radical. What? Mm -hmm. That's not an ad lib. I just like that line. All right. All right. Boys. The Tinks. Stop. The Tinks Pride <laughs> worldwide. <laughs> <laughs> what is? Is that from something? No. no it's I just Anthony. say that. I ad libbed that. <laughs> <laughs> that is an ad lib. <laughs> Why are you upset about ad lib? Ad libs. Just pisses me off that the. the it's being used as something it's not. He just wishes they well, were. Well, it is that. He wishes they no, were. No, like an ad lib is something that's off the cuff, not planned. But mo I doubt that these like little extra things are not planned. Yeah, in a studio version, but I'm sure it came from like music that was improvised. That's yeah, what, that's but where I got but it's name. it's current meaning is not what it means in every other context. John's saying your brain is like this. It's so <laughs> he's it's right. Like, it's literally this big. <laughs> no, I got a walnut dinosaur brain. You're gonna what to that wall? I got a wall nut. <laughs> I got a walnut brownie brain and molasses in my veins. Crush grand cracker. Yeah, cracker. See, that was an ad lib. Straight up. That was an ad lib because you didn't plan it. And if we recorded it, it would still what be an ad lib. What is this place? No. What Happy. is this place? You're in hell. Happy. You're in How do hell. I, you can't go You're that in way. hell. You can't go that way. It just keeps sending these things out. Is it, am I supposed <coughs> to can't be in this room? I sentenced you to 14 years huh? of listening to Richard be Cheese. Room. I can't beat this room? Nope. Are you serious? Yes. You have to come back when you have something better. This game, the whole Metroidvania genre is like getting lost, hitting dead ends, and just wandering until you find where you're supposed to go. And people think that's fun. You are people. People are wrong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when I when I can, like if I was alone, then I'd be having fun because I could focus better, but... Oh, you're going to freeze. You're dying. You're dead. Go back. Abracadabra. I can't go in there? <laughs> no, look at the snow. Look at the freezing. Don't go in here. Don't you snow? Like, effects. I'm going to reach out and fuck you. Yeah, that was the weirdest part. He's like, don't you remember when I said a dribble should go in my ass okay? I don't remember what he said instead of okay, but. Put a dribble in my ass. Through a tube. That sounds so good. I love fuck. There's a name for wanting to put a gerbil in your bum, and Sam knows the name of it. But it's I don't called ad-libbing. Yeah, it's ad-libbing. She recently had a patient that did that. What? Put a Tr in tried his butt? to. It didn't survive. D did they Are you serious? They killed the gerbil out of his butt? They killed the no, gerbil with she, his he, ass? He or she succeeded. But Wait. She was just talking about, like, the, I don't know if it's a fetish or whatever it was, the condition of that wanting to That's the saddest. Do. That's so... Why would you curse us with this knowledge? <laughs> That it's real and not just an Eminem song? Like, that you know, you're aware of it's something that happened in reality. And, and not she tells me all kinds of crazy work stories. You should Abra, not tell me. Abra, okay, everybody lives in the hospital. Oh, thank God. There's a dribble in my butt. <laughs> she comes home. Yeah, Josh, 13,000 people died at the hospital today. <laughs> they were all staff. Now it's a ghost town. <laughs> Peter, we're on jackass. <laughs> Hey, I'm Peter Man. I'm on Jackass. Stop. Hey, shoot me out of a cannon. I'm, I'm the Peter Man, and I'm on the Jackass. And today we're Peter. gonna do. Stop. Stop. <laughs> we're not talking about Jackass on our episode. Hey, Steve was. I mean, Ryan Dunn's alive in this one. <laughs> hey, Ryan Dunn's alive. Hey. Yeah, today, He's alive. Today we're gonna be going driving real fast off a cliff. Hey, I'm driving a car off the cliff. Hey. You didn't drive off a cliff. Hey, Peter, you better not be driving recklessly. Hey, I'm Glenn Quagmire. <laughs> hey, t today we're going to uh, go in a uh, do a jackass. Hey, okay, Peter Griffin does jackass. This isn't this is a real episode. Uh, so he, he does <laughs> jackass. <laughs> okay, Peter Griffin joins the jackass crew. How do I go underneath? Can I go under the water? Not in water. Peter, what happened to your voice? Why are you talking about going underwater? <laughs> oh, this isn't it yet. Okay. Okay, now it is. Okay, now it is. Oh, damn it. No, 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 go that way. Just jump over it or shoot it. Shoot it or something. Shoot it or something. Okay, Peter Griffin joins Jackass. Hey, <laughs> nice Peter Griffin. No, no, no. The episode does Jackass. not start out with him already part of Jackass. You have to build up to it. He has okay. to earn his stripes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <clears throat> doot, doot, 
So, like, what can you do that's gonna make us want to have you here? Yeah, I'm Peter Man. I can fall down the stairs. Hey. Oh, that's pretty impressive. You're in. What does he laugh yeah. heard through every single word? Don't worry about. Don't worry about what my creative. I, listen, version. I am the Family Guy master. Peter, are you doing a jackass? Hey, I'm the Peter Man. I'm gonna do the jackass. Stop thing. laughing! I can't masturbate. Yeah, Chris upstairs masturbating. <laughs> yeah, okay, Steve O, come on, let's do the jackass. Yeah. Oh, Steve O. <laughs> Who's that? It's me, Stewie. It's Ryan Dunn. <laughs> Stewie, it's yeah, me. The baby does the Stewie, the Stewie, the tiny Stewie does the jackass with us. Yeah. Stewie, the tiny Stewie. Stewie, the tiny Stewie yeah. does the jackass. We throw Stewie down the stairs. Yeah. Uh, Steve O, I, I wouldn't, I don't want to alarm you, but I think. I think Ryan is wrapped around a telephone pole. <laughs> I, I cut Ryan Dunn's brakes. Classic jackass prank. Well, Ryan, Brian, you're going to have to be the new Ryan. <laughs> Ryan. Brian Dunn. Brian, Brian, Brian Dunn. Dunn. Brian, I mean Brian. <laughs> it was meant to be. Brian Dog. <laughs> Brian, Brian Dog, Dog is, is dead. <laughs> Brian Dog will be dead. <laughs> Bad I omen. could be the jackass. I can sing. Hey, <laughs> Brian and Peter joining the Jackass crew. Hey, okay, second act. Well, I think that you're a jackass already. Hey, Stewie, I do dislike you. Oh, Un it's all in good fun, until Brian. Until I do. Oh, Stewie, I like you. Do you ever put a gun in your safe deposit box at the bank? Hey. Yeah, and just in case I want to shoot my... I'm not going to say it. My fucking My head. enemies. I need to shoot my fucking head. <laughs> Just in case I need to shoot my fucking head. <laughs> hey, what about what about? Act shoot two? that thing right there on the left. My head. What? No. What is that? Is that it's anything? It's just to get more ammo. Oh my god. Well, I'm using enough oh ammo, so. I mean missile ammo. Miscellaneous. Miscellaneous. Can I not kill it? With a missile. How do I do a missile again? <laughs> hold the right. And then, yeah, hold it and then fire. Yeah, there you go. But you also have to hold right. The <clears> right <throat> thing. Okay, new bit. Um, we, didn't, we didn't even finish Peter Does Jackass. Roman Polanski in the like U.S. I feel like Peter did Jackass. <laughs> <laughs> I did not know what I was doing. No, he's Polish. <laughs> did not know it was wrong. I did not see what the age her was. <laughs> wee wee. <laughs> Okay, I'm Quentin Tarantino, and I think you should be free. <laughs> <laughs> he goes to Roman Polanski in jail. What's going on here? <laughs> What's going on here? What's going on here? Okay, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Untie your shoes. You're as annoying as Take I said. Take off your socks. Listen. Okay, okay. Shove them in my mouth. Idiot. Idiot. Where's... I have Samuel L. Jackson on speed dial. <laughs> Where? Yeah, he tell, tell them that it's okay. Tell them he that it's said, okay. He, Top Gun was gay. Me. I can tell you. He told me I can tell you. Tell them it's okay. Top Gun was about homosexuality. <laughs> tell everybody. He says, Where is I have Samuel L. Jackson on speed dial? <laughs> <laughs> That's the title of my memoir. Hello? I have the pass. No one is going to play Sam Jackson. I'm sorry. What? No one is. G what? None of us. None of us are allowed to play Samuel L. Jackson. I'm Samuel L. Jackson, man. <laughs> can I do? Can I do Robert Downey hey Jr. I'm doing blackface? Samuel L. Jackson. Robert Downey Jr. doing blackface. That's can I do that? That's not his name. Do you, wait, did you? Do you Robert like, Smarty Jr. No, I'm oh, serious. Okay. Do, you, do you actually think his name is Robert Downey Jr.? Um, it's Roman Polanski. It's no, Iron Man. Um, I'm the dude playing the dude as rapped as the other dude. Who remembers His the name movie? isn't Robert Downey. Who remembers that movie? It's Provincetown. Province Downey. <laughs> it's Province, Province Downey, 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 Downey Jr. Downey Jr. It's Rommel Downey. Rommel McDonald. Rommel Downey. Downey Jr. It's Romulus and Remus. It's a lot of things, isn't it? All right, I'm gonna change the subject harshly. Does anyone else think that like it, Egypt, like Egyptian and Greek mythology fascination is like really Reddit? Oh, that was harsh. I didn't want to fall down there. I didn't want to talk about this. <laughs> he's <laughs> like he's <clears throat> making fun of my fetish. You know what I mean? Am I crazy? Like, uh, like thir the third is Norse mythology. Yeah, that is kind of a. It's like 
Yeah, it is. It is very like it's like a it's like a it's like the sort of thing where like you get that as your hobby and you think you're better than other people because other people don't have other people. I just who think it aren't Reddit people don't have that hobby. Yeah. Elijah, you've been going in a damn circle. I know what I'm doing. Okay. I'm trying to go over here. Thanks I'm for the gold, kind stranger. The police. <laughs> Thank you for the gold, kind stranger. Thanks for the gold, kind stranger. No, I just I I I said that to some of my friends, then got really mad at me. Wow, ten thousand likes. Can you say it again? Maybe I didn't understand. Like a, a fixation or like special interest in uh, either Egyptian, way way more Greek than Egyptian, but uh, Greek or Egyptian mythology is really? very like. I feel like I see Egyptian and Norse way more than Greek. Yeah, Greek. I feel like it's a little normy coded. I think, I think that Greek is like you read Percy Jackson, and you're like, I remember that. <clears throat> I feel like there's That's way more think. like Greek. Uh, you read Percy Jackson, you said, "Don't do me like that." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't do me like that. I don't know. I just Rick Reardon. <laughs> Rick Reardon. Rick Reardon, baby, baby. Rack my books. Rack my booty. No. Maybe, Write baby, more books. Baby. Write more young adult books because they're the only genre that's good. I love the YA. <laughs> the YA. Because, th- listen, I've, the YA is the best stuff. I worked at a bookstore for 40 years. I'm 42. I am the talking <laughs> guy. <laughs> the only good stuff is the YA. Telling Shane to you listen to the audiobook of House of Leaves. Why are you casting spells at Elijah? A joke that only I think is funny. <laughs> this is what John's doing is there, to you. Is there no audiobook version of House of Leaves? Have you ever seen that book? No. There's like pages that are like text is layered t- upon itself and it's like upside down and like all the- it's just a book that is impossible to adapt into an audio format. That's just the whole the whole joke. Why can't you I mean if I don't understand that because like if you can read it what are you saying in your head? Just say that out loud and then <clears> you have an audio book. It's hard to explain. Like there's pages that are just like an entirely one word over and over and over again. Would the guy just be like Elephant, 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 yes. elephant. Yes, sounds like a stupid book. No, it's really good. I would think there's something wrong with my recording. If you like elephants, I guess. I remember we used to, um, I, my parents used to have this recording of the Bible. It was this guy reading the entire Bible. And it was like, it was like, I don't know how many CDs it was. It was like two dozen CDs. Mm-hmm. And it was the entire Bible. And, and every once in a while. was Alan Rickman. That guy's name? Alan Rickman. <laughs> Um, that would be hilarious. I'm gonna, we're going to do that bit next. Alan Rickman reading the Bible. In the beginning. Um, Genesis. <laughs> Genesis. Genesis chapter 1. <laughs> I, In the beginning, there oh. was nothing. God spoke. <laughs> <laughs> What's the no, bit? Just, doing, <laughs> re- just saying on. bit. <laughs> Heavens and the earth. <laughs> There was um. How little... did God create man, Mr. Potter? When I saw one, two, skip the a AI thing, the AI voices like really like um, came into its own, its own a little bit. You know, recent in recent memory. Um, there's this. I think we talked about this before. Maybe um, there's this Fallout New Vegas character, Joshua Graham. Mm. He's like a Mormon, and um, they were using his like AI voice and just like. Like just making it read the Bible in the beginning, and people were like replying to it, like, "I would, I'm honestly into Christianity now." Or it's like, "This is so cool, I it's might actually so, listen to the rest of the Bible." I hate people like that. <laughs> uh, th- to me, those are like people that are Satanists. They're just like, I don't even know how to explain it. It's like fake yeah, religious. Yeah, literally people. same thing. No, you know what I mean. Like feigning people, interest like, in the Bible, like, like, you love the <clears throat> devil. Like I don't think Satanists are, are like really religious, like like genuinely religious. It's just like, ask your like a special interest to them. Ask but your they, coworker if they would listen no, to. No, right. it's Joshua like it's Graham like a personality quirk almost. Yeah, it's like it's like you like Star Wars. You're a Satanist. The same thing. Like, and if <laughs> if you disagree with me, you are a Satanist. You're you're wrong. There's no disagreeing with me. I'm a hundred percent objectively correct on this. Fuck you. Um, anyways, my parents used to have this book of the Bible. Uh, it was on CD. <laughs> a little book, you know, called the Bible. Yeah, you ever heard of it? Uh, it's called the Good Book for a reason. It's maybe pretty maybe, good. Yeah, maybe start investing. <laughs> maybe start investigating, <laughs> idiot. Um, what is this room? This room is awesome. This room is <laughs> the cool room. To be here. The very cool room. <laughs> It gives you an epic intro and outro every time you go in and out of it. <laughs> and I love right. how it respawns this little bat guy. 
Bartok the Magnificent. It respawns don't, every don't, animal. Don't. I'm not going to go, go back in. Shut I'm away. not going to go into the epic room. <laughs> I'm not going to leave the game. <laughs> I'm not going to leave the epic room. <laughs> Anyways, your Bible. The very cool yeah, the, the story that you clearly, so clearly want to hear. Oh, I do! With all, with all that enthusiasm. I'm sorry, I'm oh. sorry. This, Anyways, this game is, this game is exhausting. Bible story, <laughs> this game whatever. is exhausting. This game is exhausting. Whatever that stupid shit you were saying was. <laughs> <laughs> Stop rubbing your nose in the mic! <laughs> um... The story, it's taken me so long to tell this story. This So my parents had this Bible on tape, on, yeah. on CDs, and sometimes they would put it on. And sometimes, I don't know if uh, maybe um, our, our Generation Z listeners, our millennial listeners may not remember back when there were CDs. I'm Gen A. Um, like from Gen Forrest Gump. <laughs> Gen A. Um, Gen A. You fuckers, just finish the story. Gen A. <laughs> this is the longest story I've ever told. It's the longest yard, too. <laughs> um, so, uh, our, the sequel. Our, our, our young 12-year-old millennial listeners may not remember back when there were CDs. 12-year-old <laughs> millennial? Yeah, back when we had CDs. Um, but sometimes CDs would skip. And when CDs skipped, it would be... You ever heard of CD skipping? So um, <laughs> I could I could play some audio right now. I have some of my favorite audios from a CD skipping, but Shane I, cut it off early. Oh, I can't believe it he makes did me that. so mad that he did that. Um, anyway, so one time they put on this um, this Bible thing, and I'm gonna I think I'll just do it in Alan Rickman's voice okay. because um, that was that was kind of fun to do. Yeah, that was just a fun thing to do. Um, this game really is exhausting, by the way. Um, yeah, I'm about to... Uh, I'm rubbing my eyes like an eight-year-old. <laughs> it's over for I, me. Yeah. I did that when I was eight. Got tired. Uh. Uh, anyways, so it was playing, and imagine it was like, and Jesus said unto them, titty, 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 titty. <laughs> <laughs> what did, was he trying to say? Why did I Jesus say that? It just started skipping, and it uh, it just said titty over and over and over <laughs> again. <laughs> was your parents uh, embarrassed? There was your parents embarrassed? They were a little horrified. Was your parents embarrassed? They was. Was your parents embarrassed? <laughs> <laughs> was your parents embarrassed? <laughs> Josh, thank you for taking the controller away from me, because I would have just kept going in that circle very cool forever. Room, yeah. Go back. To it the was very a very cool, cool room, room though. <laughs> um. Yeah, it's a titty, 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 titty. The room that makes you take poppers? 